pretty awesome, huh? This is just one of many murals here in downtown Gresham, Oregon. What's up, you creepers? It is a absolutely beautiful fall day, and I am creeping around Gresham, Oregon, which is a suburb of Portland. And uh, this city is full of really cool little iconic historical buildings and shops, but lots of art. Um, if you guys chimed in before or tuned in before or crept with me, um, I've visited downtown Gresham uh, many of times. One time for the unveiling of uh, Gresham's dedication to Todd, a friend of mine. But there's a statue down here that I've shown on previous vlogs, but there's many of art pieces all around the town. So I'm hoping you guys will creep with me like you do. And I thanks you guys for tuning in first and foremost. But we're going to creep down the way here. I'm going to show you guys some historical stuff of Gresham. And then we're just going to enjoy the sights and sounds. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. And there are tons of these beautiful murals all over the city. This one titled Berry Harvest by artist Don Gray. And it looks like 2017 is when this went in. But this city has a lot of historical value. And look at these cool places you can hook your bike up to. The old school. And then the little mini <laughs> one over here. But like I said, this town's got a bunch of little art pieces and historical value. So let's creep around and check this out. I'm excited. Um, this is actually my hometown. We moved out here from Portland in 89. And uh, yeah, definitely a great little city. And they've got these little drinking fountains set up just like Portland. Not the Benson Bubblers, but similar. And if you guys can see, they've got the city here. Old school pictures. A lot of it unchanged, really. The layout of all the historical buildings along Main Street here have stayed, stayed the same. You can see the remnants still. Uh, but pretty cool to do these comparison shots. And this would have been right here. Right down here on the right, or the left, is this building. And if you guys can see, like I said, they've got these little places you can park your bikes. <laughs> Pretty cool, but if you guys can see compared to that old shot, here's the same building as before, which is still a historical building. And then, like I said, plenty of murals all over the city, including this one that represents the old school Rexall drug, which is like a soda shop here for many years. With people enjoying their ice creams, playing chess, maybe having a malt. And if you guys can see up top there, it actually says Rexall Drug. With all the tonics and stuff. How cool is that? And I remember as a kid coming down here and actually visiting the Rexall Drug, which is now Jazzy Bagels, which resides right here. Which is a really cool bagel shop. If you guys ever come down to downtown Gresham and you want to grab a little treat, I highly recommend Jazzy Bagels. But this is really cool. But let's keep creeping because there is plenty to see. And like I said, this is the Gresham Rexall drug plaque here. Three generations. And at one point, you could actually go into one of the, well, the actual pharmacy, which was located just right down here. And you could go through that door. And there was old school remnants of all the tonics and tinctures that they would use. But this is the front of Jazzy Bagels, which now resides here, but was a pharmacy for many years. And if you guys can see, like I said, the buildings still stand the same from the original picture, so that's really cool. So we're going to go down here and check out some more of these bronze art sculptures by a local artist here as well. Um, when I said the artist, uh, I think her name's Heather, but uh, you guys can check out the Todd statue in more depth. I actually visited the unveiling in one of my previous vlogs so such a great little city full of little shops and places to eat now this place in particular the M&M lounge is probably one of the oldest if not the oldest uh, not only restaurant in in Portland and Gresham 
but it has stayed the same name for many of years and that's the M&M Lounge and they do a great job with their breakfast and whatnot. But let's creep across here and get a better look at the M&M. This is kind of like an old timey style restaurant as well. Not as old as the Rexall back there, but they still do the old school, old school style like milkshakes and you know when your chef's cheeks are this plump, the food's probably good. <laughs> they say never trust a skinny chef. And I'm just going to kind of poke the camera in the door real quick so you guys can see the old school style M&M restaurant that has been here for many years. With the nostalgic look. Hello. Hello. Pretty cool. And then they always do a really good job of posting flyers for other little events coming up like they do these hot rod runs every year downtown Gresham so we're gonna creep down here and check out a couple more little spots and I just wanted to kind of pay homage to my old stomping grounds now Wall Street Pizza I've done a vlog from here as well and these guys probably have some of the best garlic rolls in town not to mention all the old school video games like Pac-Man and I think they still even have the Simpsons game inside, so definitely another really cool place to visit right here in Gresham is Wall Street Pizza. But let's keep creeping down here because there's a bunch more things to look at. And uh, I also want to do a quick update of a, a big mural down here that I vlogged a couple summers ago. And the last time I walked by, it actually looked like they were, he was finishing up. And here's a really cool antique store I like their window display as well this is cool let's peek in here real quick this looks like it's Foxtrot antiques very cool and this caught my eye right from the get-go look at this old-school Maggie Simpson Ooh, they've even got a Simpson CD. Very cool. See, I knew I was coming in for a reason. <laughs> Look at this old school Starbucks pail. Very cool. So yeah, what a neat place. Like I said, I could probably creep around these places all day long. This old school Coca-Cola tin. This is cool. And the M&M. Very cool. But we'll uh, come back another time. But I'll plug all these businesses in the descriptions. That way, if you guys saw something you might like or want to check in a little bit more with the uh, different businesses that I've shown you so far you guys can do that so I believe that place was called Fox Trot uh, Fox Trot so pretty cool it's funny whenever there's like Simpson stuff it's like my uh, knowledge of it knows that it's there or something it's pretty funny so let's go across the street here and check out a newer piece right here at this bench of this teddy bear right here in downtown Gresham by the same artist that did that statue of Todd and has a whole bunch of other really cool bronze statues down here and so this one is Teddy dedicated by the International of Gresham's Shane and Alex Bennis. Oh cool the mayor to honor the Teddy Bear Parade which they do every year right here in downtown Gresham so that's pretty cool and it's nice because it left you room to where you could actually sit down and take a quick view of the street and even get a quick photo of the bear <laughs> a quick selfie that's cool but yeah the teddy bear parade is a parade held in downtown Gresham here right here actually every year that features local businesses and different people from the city and mostly the kids from the schools will decorate um, their little floats that they run with different teddy bears and stuff but let's go over here and check out Todd it's been a while since I seen you in fact, last time we were here, buddy, it was pretty packed. I could barely even get up close to you. But this is the Todd statue, like I said, I featured before. Holding it down in his Clyde Drexler blazer jersey, which I just love. 
And if you guys don't know, this is actually Todd Kieran, and he is dubbed Mr. Gresham. And like I said, Heather and Rich Soddenberg are the people that donated their support and, and time to create this. But Heather is the one that basically has all of her art featured here and here in Gresham. So, and they've even got them held down with some coffee. So, I might need one of those coffees later, Todd. I'll see you later, bud. Actually, I'll probably see you creeping around here. You're always around Gresham. <laughs> but let's check this out because I wanted to show you guys this new new statue like this is brand new this is actually the first time i've even seen this by the same artists like i said that did the other statues but this is beautiful bless our nest so yeah 2018 but this is the first time i've seen this this is cool very cool with the little froggy and the great detail of the dragonfly. Ooh, look at the duck too, the mallard is beautiful. That coloring. Oh, we've even got this little tortoise kicking it here. Turtle, turtle. <laughs> That's awesome. But yeah, just in another incredibly beautiful piece by Heather Soddenberg, and I'll definitely leave links to all her pieces here. And in fact, there's one right across the street here for Dreskel the Dog, which is dedicated to the seeing eye dogs here in Gresham that are training right here is the statue. And they walk along here with the seeing eye dogs for people with disabilities. But I want to go check out this other crane piece that I see in front of one of my favorite restaurants right here in the heart of downtown Gresham and that's Sunny Hans and these guys have like some of the best teriyaki rice bowls and they've been holding it down out here in Gresham for a long time and they've always kept their business very beautiful with the bonsai style trees but this piece is beautiful and this one looks like it's entitled blue if you guys can see the camera's kind of glared there but in 2017 so boy she's been hard at work it seems like every year they put up a new piece with the great detail of this with the frogs and turtles as well I just love the detail of that turtle too that is so cool and just the display of this crane right here in front of this business is perfect incredible But yeah, I'll definitely leave links to everything that you guys have seen here today in the description. That way, if you guys do decide to come visit downtown Gresham, you'll know all the good spots. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's check out this final piece and then we'll creep over to that mural, which is just right down here. Uh, but this looks like uh, Dreskel the dog. And I did a little research of him earlier, so I do know that this is for dedicated to people with disabilities. Um, mainly people with um, seeing problems. This is a guide dog for the blind, uh, but not just for people with uh, blind and disabilities. They also use these as companions uh, for mental health reasons. But look at the detail, they've even got the harness. And I was talking with one of the gals that actually trains the dogs down here, and she told me that when they walk the dogs down this path here, they'll actually stop not knowing if this is a real dog at first and kind of sniff them out but <laughs> good to meet you driscoll and uh yeah let's go down here a ways and check out this other piece that i want to show you guys but heather soddenberg has been hard at work making gresham so much more beautiful than it already is and if you guys can see there's just a ton of people already out enjoying the day at all the little cafes and restaurants there's like a Thai place, a little French pie place. Um, but yeah, let's go down here and check out this mural because I think it's... I think it's finally finished here. And this is another piece that if you guys go back on some of my very first vlogs... Or the recording... <laughs> probably wasn't as great, but... Um, one of the, art, the artists that actually painted this, I was able to interview him. And I can't think of the gentleman's name offhand, but... Like I said, if you guys go back and check 
the videos I believe is titled Gresham Art Walk um, but yeah check out this mural over here you guys of the entire city of Gresham pretty much all the way from the very first founder of Gresham let me get a better shot here because these cars are kind of parked in the way but if you guys can see Walter Gresham and then it just has like a full-on timeline of the entire city from some of the very first businesses to our train and railroad system from the original train to the max which is now our major communication or commute commute route to the great detail of all the people enjoying the biking trails oh wow check this out the first Japanese woman settler we actually visited her grave you guys if you guys go back on one of my previous vlogs as well I actually visited the grave of one of the very first Japanese settlers here which was in Gresham but Check out how incredibly beautiful and detailed this is. I love this old school truck. And look at this. It's like a Model A. Look at the detail of that. That is spectacular. And then it just shows the entire city history. Some of the actual buildings that we just passed here. So cool. To one of the old school fire station engines. Way cool. Oh, and he even has the teddy bear parade on here, which I was telling you guys about, which actually, look, that looks like the teddy stuffed animal uh, statue that we just saw. Right there in Gresham. Very cool. Look at the kind of old school. Paved the way for so much more. With everything from the old school theater, which is just right down the road, to where we just were standing right here in front of the M&M, talking with this statue right out front. How incredible. Oh, Lee, that's his name. There we go. So Lee started this in 2017, but I think he just finished things up not too long ago. I know he was really hard at work. So Lee Lauritsen, Natural Images 2017. And I believe I still have the link to his webpage on that pre 